So what's perceptual learning? Can people see this? Do we need to turn the lights down some? Because I know even for me it's a little washed out. Can you see it in the back okay? All right. So it says basically this. We already know that we can improve performance with practice. That, we all know that. But it needs to be the right kind of practice. And we know that when we do certain kinds of practice, that literally the brain changes. Structurally it can change, and functionally it can change. And what happens is then our responses become faster and more accurate. And we all know that's important. You know, when you have someone who's struggling with learning, you'll often find that they know the information, but it may take them longer to work with that information. So that they have more difficulty with time tests, but not when you just talk with them. But we also know that how fast we process information has a lot to do with many things. For example, if you're reading, and you learn how to decode words, and you become pretty good at the actual act of reading, you will not develop good fluency and comprehension unless you can do it in a, in a smooth, timed fashion. So you can have good phonemic awareness, you can have pretty good spelling skills, and you can still have a reading disability because the processing speed isn't there. It's the same in almost everything that we do. I have a niece who was born very prematurely, weighed two something when she was born, has visual impairment, not really because of the prematurity, primarily because she has a syndrome that, that has uh, vision impairment as part of it, and um, has some learning challenges. And she lets me talk about her. And she's now 30, but there are a lot of things that she can do, but she tends to do them much more slowly. It's painful for me to be in like the kitchen with her, which is not my room of the house to go to generally anyway. Um, but she likes to cook, and I just have to kind of leave her and walk away because it, she just doesn't have that flow. And, and everything is much slower. Now part of it is she does have some weakness in her hands and things that, that change it, but she just isn't always kind of having that what I call past, present, and future, that executive function kind of thinking where you're always a, a little bit ahead so that everything flows more smoothly. So if I'm going to hire a worker, do I want to hire some, if I have two people who I know can do the job, but one can do it that much more quickly, even if they can both do it accurately, who do I want to hire? You know, really, who do I want to hire? And also, when it takes you longer, you have to get more fatigued, which then slows you down. You know, if, if you are in school and they give you what they think is an hour of homework, and then it takes you two hours, you're getting more tired, you can't keep up, you feel more frustrated, and you get into this cycle that really makes it challenging. If you can't read fluently, even though you decode words with no problem, but you don't get that fluency, then you're not going to get the comprehension either. And that's an issue. But we know we can change some of those things relatively simply. So what we say is, it says at the bottom there, it's a, the, the perceptual learning leads to a style of improving how we make sense of sensory stimuli, so th things that are coming at us, not just visually, although a lot of it is visual when they talk about this, but, um, and so the, the main thing is we want to better respond to our environment. We want to be able to respond quickly and we want to be able to respond accurately.